Well, I'm really happy uh, with the football team's toughness. Um, certainly very, very grateful for the state of Arkansas, how they traveled down here to the game. They were loud and much appreciated. Um, I think our toughness showed tonight. I mean, we had some guys that got hurt. We needed to get a, uh, a rush in a three-man line and, and Trey Williams and, and Ridgeway and those guys and Nutsy and a bunch of guys uh, got to the quarterback. The game plan worked. And uh, then when we had injury, the guys that were uh, second team came in and, and performed well. So tough football team. I'm proud of that fact. And what happens, win or loss, uh, we're all really proud that we got a, we have a physical football team that's tough and that, that prides themselves in being tough. Well, I, th I mean, the two score part of it was huge, you know. Um, we needed to get to 10 somehow. Um, before anybody asked me, I'd have went for that fourth and one again. Um, I thought at that point we could get get ahead of them at 24 nothing at half, and I thought we would deflate them. So I was wrong, but I'd do it again. And uh, so, but, you know, when Mo picked that pass, and we went down and went up 10. Now the clock was on our side at that point. And then I was really proud of the way that we ended the game where we could nail it out with the ball. And, and uh, just so thankful for our assistant coaches, man. They, I got some good coaches now. And, you know, I'm the only one in here visiting, but we got a lot of good assistant coaches and obviously some really good players. The tricky kind of lot down back, I guess, with KJ got hurt and um, just kind of overcoming a bit of a momentum swing there. And what did you guys do and how did you overcome it? And what was KJ's status during that whole time? Well, it, uh, you know, the defense kept us in the game. I mean, that was the, the biggest thing, and they knew it. Remember, adversity doesn't mean it has to directly affect your side of the ball. It affects the other side, and and adversity affected, you know, our because KJ was out, it affected defense too, and uh, they went in there and played really well, I thought, and and uh, then when Mo picked the pass, you know, that was, it was so big because you know it was you know let's punt them down to the 20, 20, they kick it back to our twenty, you know, not a lot happening, which was okay when you're 14 up, but then when it got to seven, it was a different story. And that was a big, big pick. I don't know if I even answered your question, to be honest with you. Did I? Oh, no, he went into the tent. Uh, he hit right on top of his knee. And it's just a bruised knee. Uh, I think they tried to put something on it, you know, to maybe numb it a little bit. And uh, it, that that numbing gel, I'm not obviously a doctor, but it takes them a second or two or a minute or two to get it, you know, where it numbs your knee. And then finally it worked and he came in, you know, at the end of the uh, at the end of the game there in the fourth quarter. Sam, they have some stuck out there. I don't know if you're excited about Trey, but you know, the defense, when KJ had his dog, you know, it's still a confident big run after that that he can score. What do you think of the defense overall, especially Trey? Trey Williams was a big difference in the game, in, in my opinion. And uh, defense overall, I mean, they held them to 10 points. You know, really, they had the one long run. And, you know, we gave up a field goal right before half, uh, which, you know, is going to happen. Uh, they had the one long run on third and two, I believe it was. And, and other than that, our defense played outstanding. Uh, you know, if you look at our defense, they're going to line up and it's going to look like, man, you can just run the heck out of the ball. You know, you got three guys, they got, you know, eight guys everywhere, but that ne not necessarily has been the case, you know. So Coach Odom, his staff on that side of the ball did an outstanding job, but the kids executed the plan 
they they kept us in the game all night and we knew they had to coming in because we knew A&M's reputation on defense that was you know was basically our defense versus their defense and then which offense can score more points and uh, fortunately we did okay. so what they do at home from a big yeah. Well, I mean, I think we got it down there a little bit to take a little bit of the pressure off, but the one early in the game was a longer, I don't know what it was, 42 yards, somewhere in there, I'm guessing somewhere in that area, but uh, the guy's so valuable to us. I mean, uh, I'm not going to say it, you know, but he's good. You know, and he's making them. And uh, so you can say it all you want. I'm not. Well, Trey really works hard, you know, at practice, and he works all his different moves and those type things. And, uh, you know, the thing, he's healthy now. You know, he was beat up a little bit early in the year, and he's healthy now. So, uh, He's really got a nice little little swim move on him, a little rip move, and and uh, he's fast. Some of the things he couldn't do early in the year is because of health. You know, his back was jacked up, his bicep was jacked up a little bit, and now he's healthy. So he's a good football player, I know, because he gave gave us trouble when I was at Georgia. I had two first round left tackles, and or Georgia did, I didn't. I mean, Georgia did, and and uh, we had a hard time blocking him when he was a freshman and sophomore. Coach, you mentioned the uh, three-man front. It looks like there's room to run, but there isn't. What, what makes it so effective? The linebackers. It's a race for the race for the ball. I mean, and you got you got an edge setter. I really loved what we were trying to get accomplished in our three-down line this week with our ends. And uh, you guys that watch tape, you'll you'll figure it out what we were trying to do there. Uh, but our linebackers, they can run, and you know. We're a pretty good team, whether you have, you know, five safeties back there or four, you know, four, five DBs with three safeties or four DBs with two safeties, pretty good football team. And I think Barry does such a good job of they're going to do that week. Uh, this one here was, was a nose with two five techniques. Before it was a shade, a three, a five. Then it was a pair of four eyes, a nose. I mean, we, and then it was a pair of threes and a nose. This week we decided we needed to get rush with 55 and 56 and zero. And so we need to put them a little bit wider. Tom, Tom Arcady, I'm wondering, can you frame up what, what this win means for the program? <laughs> it's been four and oh, it's been a while. Dr. Pope is going out. No, I really can't. I mean, um, you know, no, I, I mean, I, I don't know what it means to the program. I know that we're four and oh, we beat 15 and beat seven or five. And, you know, somebody will figure out that somebody will say, well, Texas A&M ain't any good just because Arkansas beat them. Someone will say Texas ain't any good because Arkansas beat them. But I believe both of them is really good. And I think the Razorbacks have a good football team. And so that's how it is. And what, what next week will mean? Oh, man. I'm not even thinking about Georgia. Kirby, he, he, Kirby, Kirby wants 100 to nothing or whatever today. I mean, Kirby will, Kirby will be ready to go. You know, I'm, we'll wait till tomorrow. Well, I think sometimes we take for Ask you about it. You get a big breakout game. Not necessarily breakout, but you had a huge game today. Took the game, really took control early for some of those catches. Man, wasn't that, a, wasn't that a great throwing catch, you know, by KJ and, and Burks? His press man. It's hard to press him. He's so big, you know. And then he had he made a lot of plays today. Very valuable. He went out late uh, with a with an injury, but I think he's just fine. Uh, but uh, he's really valuable to us, you know, and anytime you get pressed, man, you throw it up to him, it's hard to defend. Coach, obviously, David Horn is here, Wilson is here. What does it say about the 
head coaches to be this tight knit who are on the tight end counter. Well, I called uh, Mus. I don't know what day, maybe Tuesday or Wednesday, and I called Dave the same day. And uh, I said, I think we'll be more powerful if y'all come down on the sideline and stand stand there. And uh, Dave, Eric was already coming. And uh, Dave had practice and he canceled practice. And I really, really appreciate both of them. Um, it was a special moment for me as head coach to have, I mean, it's Dave Van Horn. And Eric Musselman, I mean, my God, you know, and it was really special for me to have both of them down there. About his what? Yeah, they're they're available. They're they're playing tonight. <laughs> They didn't practice like I told you. I don't lie to y'all. I just keep stuff from them. Um, <laughs> but uh, I was truthful. They, neither one of them practiced uh, Tuesday and then uh, or Monday, I guess. And then, you know, we started slowly working them in. And then uh, Ricky said, hey, I'm ready to roll on Wednesday. And Wags gave me the thumb up, you know. And he – Wagner's so tough. I mean, he's just a tough guy. And uh, – so I slept good and knew we had our starting five in there. Not that I didn't think we could do well if they weren't in there, but obviously there's a reason there are one. And uh, they went in there and they played the whole game, played played good. It's a good defensive football team. a and A&M's A&M now. They won 11 in a row for a reason. They got a good football coach and a good team. Sam, even the super Sixers well, I'm happy because I'm the head coach. I mean, I, you I'm know, really, really happy. But I'm, I'm hoping that the whole state and you and everybody that follows Arkansas is ecstatic about the Hogs winning. And uh, I, again, I think this is what should happen at Arkansas. Now, I'm not saying we ought to win every game. But we're the University of Arkansas. When you look at Eric and Dave, they're doing it. And, and Dyfel and everybody, they're doing it. We're the University of Arkansas. It should happen to us. I know. I was looking at my wife. <laughs> Honey, you're not. Uh, you're not nothing. I. I Kind of fight with my wife. <laughs> don't don't say that. Oh, never mind. Whoop. Whoops. To be honest, somebody knock a guy into me on the sideline. I'm soft. I shouldn't have anything covering it up. The coach is soft. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, Andy had that run at the end of the game. Almost sealed their hand on the safety. Um, what does that kind of say about the personality of this team? It's tough. He's tough. He didn't want to let, let the guys down. And I think he's I think he's beat up. But he just he didn't he we we knew we needed another first down so we could start the celebration. So he's tough. I'm proud of him. Any more questions for Coach? Coach, thank you. Jamie. Uh, Coach, you have no more questions. Jamie, you're <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's for you.